Hello, everybody, this is Kelly Stamps, and many of you have requested a video on how I cope with loneliness and missing friends during this time. Bold of you to assume I have any. I'm just kidding, they're just very spread out. One is in Los Angeles, one's in Charlotte, some are in New York City, my online quarantine husband is in Paris. <sighs> Although I think we got a divorce, I don't know. Either way, this is a great time for me to put my only child survival skills to use. I've been putting myself up to small projects to keep my mind off the fact that I'm a single person living alone in the absolute worst time. It works, so let me just show you some things I've been doing. Aside from going to the apartment pool and acting like it's my pool and snapping for the pool boy. Actually, there is no pool boy. Neither is there a lifeguard. Is this place legal? I like to put myself up to tiny projects. One of them is renovating my room. Do you see I did something different? I took the rug, the big rug that was there, and I put it there. Home Improvement 101. Hello, and you're watching HGTV. Today, we're gonna renovate this ugly apartment from Shutter Island aesthetic to Flight 29 Down Island aesthetic. Still sketchy, but a little more tropical and wholesome and inviting. So what we're gonna do is pull this bed slightly away from the wall, A, because fire ants love crawling into bed with me. And there's a little uplifting reminder. Guys, stop complaining about being lonely during this time, okay? You're just picky about your company. There is always going to be a spider or some sort of critter underneath your bed. Just talk to it, give it a chance. Also, I actually did a little bit of shopping, okay? I went and got some cute little pants. So I decided why not get some mirrors in addition to that, expose what I already have and make that part of the decoration. I do have lots and lots of film pictures. And instead of having them all hidden down here, why not display them in some sort of a nice way? Aside from making my apartment look less like a hospital, I have been working on defining my style in my downtime. When I'm here in Florida, people dress very nice, like very nice. And I feel bland when I go to the mall and walk around. I'm like, did someone mention there was a red carpet event? Because people wear high heels on a daily. I've been wearing heels actually. Yes, I have been wearing heels. Am I 5'7"? Yes. Will I become 5'10 in heels? Yes. Do I care? I don't. Because I'm confident and I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about the fact that I might look like I'm going to the Grammys because maybe I am. So that's fun for me, just trying to figure out my sense of style. I want to dress very like feminine, uh, lots of like white colors, pearls. I'm going for this uh, participation trophy wife aesthetic. A woman who just wears tennis skirts and tennis dresses all day long. She's got nowhere to really be. So I ordered, uh, oh, this, I need a screenshot, a picture of it. I ordered these uh, Chanel sport outfits from the 90s and the 80s. And I love 90s Chanel runways and the years before that. They are beautiful. That is what I wish they would do now. I wish they had my vision. My astigmatism says, 90s honey, bring them back. Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of these places you can find them on Instagram where they have like luxury consignment 
So that's been a hobby of mine, finding like old school 90s Chanel, Jean-Paul Gaultier. I'm just practicing my French for my French online husband. But I should text him, I should text him. How is he doing? Hello, bonjour. Hello, uh, Chanel Baguette, uh, boulangerie. I would like to FaceTime with you in some lingerie. And that is how you flirt. Now, I don't feel obligated to constantly fill my day with distracting activities because, I mean, after all, it is a distraction from the deeper issue, which is clearly depression, which has worsened for so many of us living at home alone. And yes, I am grateful for this luxury life that YouTube has provided me, but you know, there are deeper issues that are interfering with my happiness, such as grief, not being able to say goodbye to my dad, and I'm like just wrecked with this feeling of what if, what if I, you know, had my success or blow up sooner? What if I had the money that I have now to somehow make his rapid descent into dementia more comfortable? Or, you know, I'm like, I wish I could have magically stopped it. So <laughs> before you think about venting to your friends, use BetterHelp. You can watch videos all day on this exact same topic. We can tell you, redecorate your room, put yourself up to a project, go work out, but that's like putting a band-aid on the issue. We need to get that Neosporin out and get deeper and penetrate with professional therapy. By the way, BetterHelp is sponsoring this video. I'm having a very positive experience as a customer myself, so I want my followers to know about this. I am venting to my therapist once a week and I am loving it. BetterHelp will assess your needs with a quick questionnaire and match you with a licensed therapist who you can start communicating to within 48 hours. Now I wanna challenge you to not rant to your friends about all the deep-rooted issues that you're having in your life because I said in a past video, I think that most friendships in adulthood are just agreements to be each other's sounding board. So let's promote healthy friendships Friendships. Let's just, you know, check in with each other, but let's go to therapy for our actual issues that are unsolvable by just your peers. BetterHelp is professional counseling done securely online. It is not a crisis line. It is not self-help. It is meant to help you professionally. It is a website with over 14,000 counselors, and these counselors have a very wide range of expertise. You can get very specific, but keep in mind, some of these expertises may not be locally available in many areas, but you will find someone who can help you. This service is available for Stampede students and international Stampede students worldwide. Once you sign up, you can log in and communicate to your counselor anytime. Your counselor will respond within a timely manner and you too can arrange weekly video calls, phone calls, or just chatting, whatever you prefer. I do a weekly video chat with my counselor. And I must say, this is so much better than driving off to some cold waiting room sitting there. I love this because I really don't feel like going anywhere right now. Now, I know she's not my friend, but I feel like I know her. Um, I love her. She gives me worksheets. My therapist gives me worksheets to work on, which actually takes my mind off things because, you know, I have too much time on my hands to be like, I'm gonna die one day. Now, if you don't like your therapist, if she's not your, she or he is not like your BFF, like mine is, um, you can easily switch. BetterHelp is committed to finding a therapeutic match for you. No one is forcing you to talk to anyone. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional therapy and financial aid is available. This is Stampede University after all. I also have a special 10% off your first month offer just for the Stampede. Join the over 1 million people like myself, prioritizing their mental health and start living a happier life today by visiting betterhelp.com stamps. That's better help, H-E-L-P, not health. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but um, I've been working out. Working out, using BetterHelp, um, cooking my five-star, very expensive Trader Joe's frozen arrabbiata pastas has made me cope with everything going on. So that's my recommendation for y'all. Dance as much as you want. Cry as much as you want. Put on tons of makeup and take pictures of yourself for your new LinkedIn profile. Do whatever you want. There's no right or way. There's no right or wrong way to do this. 
can't say the word, but this Panera bread. Just figure out what works for you. And thanks BetterHelp for sponsoring this video.